All right, let's talk about Nintendo. Sure. Ska Dave writes in and he says, it seems that I owe Shipwreck an apology. I thought that his take on the construction of the Switch Joy-Cons was too harsh. Well, my left Joy-Con now removes from the Switch without having to push the button. It just slides right off. You were right. I will never doubt your engineering mind again. I'm sorry to hear that, Scott Dave. <laughs> I, I, I didn't want this to be an issue. Yeah, you should usually just believe whatever ship says i mean if, it, if it's forget about if it's engineering or not he's usually right about things and just in general but if it's engineering related then you got to bet on ship for sure it just it just seems like i would like to know like how how many mechanical designers looked at the switch at, at nintendo like i they they know how to do the electronic side of it which i am not an electronics electrical engineer so i'm sure there was one guy like paul newman in the towering inferno it's a trap (laughs) they're all gonna die and they ignored him yeah yes i I mean they just haven't had to they haven't had to do a lot of mechanical design on their stuff in the past i mean you look at you look at everything that they've done and it's pretty like basic put this inside of a box a plastic housing and you're you're pretty much good to go. And they're not pushing um, the technology in terms of sort of processing power, so you don't really have to do probably a lot of complicated design to eliminate heat and air and you know get the proper airflow because usually their stuff is underpowered. Yeah, I think I think you could probably eyeball it and get in the right vicinity most of the time with them. Just stick a fan in it and you're right. probably good. But this has got literally a lot of moving parts. A lot of moving parts, a lot of stuff that it's just not a, a great idea electronics wise either. Like the, the dock itself, like when have you ever wanted to put something like close something inside it and, and turn it on? Like that's not, that's not how things work. Like you don't like, like to run a laptop when it's, it's like closed inside of a bag. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Why does the dock? Bad? You're saying why does the why is the dock so big? Like why does it need the sides? Why, why is it, it encasing the the majority of the tablet? Why isn't and, it and, more like my laptop dock at work that I just kind of click it in right on top? And, right, which, yeah. which allows for airflow. You got plenty of surface area there to where stuff can the the heat can dissipate. Um, this the. I'm I'm bringing this up because there's a lot of like switch bending problems is what's coming out now is that the entire tablet itself is starting to bend um, for some people. We don't know how universal this is yet, but I looking at it and thinking about it, I think it's going to be fairly universal on this um, again, Um, just because the way that the dock is is sitting, it's not necessarily that this thing gets so hot that the electronics inside have an issue it's that you have a temperature delta um, where the edges of the tablet are cool because they are outside of the dock there, there's a little bit on the top of the the switch and then on the sides where it would just be like room temperature um, whereas in the center of the switch that thing is going to be heating up and it doesn't have anywhere for that heat to really go because it's inside of that enclosure that you've right. stuck it in so it, you're going to get crawdads in the stator at the temperature delta. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to get hot in the middle and cool on the outside, and that's going to cause the the circuit boards and the plastic, particularly, to want to to want to bend and deform. Mm. And just by definition, plastic's not going to go back to its original shape. It's plastic; it's right. going to deform. So what you're saying um, is they should have taken a lesson from the McDLT. Keep the hot side hot and the cool side – no, they sh- yeah, not keep the hot side hot and the cool side cool. You want to keep everything at the same temperature right. as much yeah. as possible. Mm. Um, no Jason Alexander for you, GP. <laughs> uh. So it's – yeah, it's it, – it seems like it's a design that makes great sense. Like this would be a something that consumers would come up with. It's like, yeah, I want to slip it inside this thing. But then when you stop to think about the mechanics and why nobody – does this it's because yeah there's this thing called thermodynamics <laughs> and 
there's I do you think do you think reason. they made the big dock like that because they are promoting this as a home console and when it's inside the dock and you know it's it's basically hidden it looks like more like a home console yeah than as if you just it, had again, like this is going back because their home console is is dead in the water the Wii U was dead they needed a home console oh well well, yeah, I, it's, I don't know. I mean, and that's the only way for it to play on the TV right now is stick it in this thing that some people have reported scratches it and other people are saying is, melting is warping their Switch. Perfect. Sounds like a, sounds like a. Switch 2.0 <laughs> could be good though. See, if we're asking what you're better waiting on, I would rather wait on a Switch than have waited on Mass Effect. <laughs> I guess. It's, that, that does make sense. So, I stand by my decision. <laughs> so you made the right choice. You made the right choice. Uh, you still playing Blaster Master Zero? I am. That's that's a really well done game. Okay. I I'm I still am amazed that that was only ten dollars. I think uh, they could have squeezed <laughs> some more money out of people. It slipped through. Maybe not. I don't know. People might have not been as into Blaster Master as I was as a kid. <laughs> right. That was a long time ago. I mean. Yeah, I remember when that came. The game holds up. Like I, yeah. they definitely updated it some, but the core mechanics of that game, which is a, a Metroid type of game, um, it's it's still really good. All right, let's uh, let's move on to Sony. Uh, have you finished Ukulele and uh, Blaster Master, or are those still the games you're playing? I am almost done with Ukulele, and I'm like, I had got another two worlds, I think, in Blaster Master. Just curious to know when you're going to move on to, I don't know, Horizon, I guess. Uh, I, I'll i get back to it. Oh, so good. I, I wanted to play some Persona just to Oh, that's right. I forgot you got that bit. too. So yeah, you're never going. You're never going to play Mass Effect. Uh, I'm not. Until they tell me it's safe to play it and they're done with it. <laughs> right. uh, I see no reason to start that game. I'm curious to know how big the patch is going to be for the, that's out. Oh yeah, that should be interesting. 